welcome back. This is Brie with My Lavender Pages and my best friend and I went to Hobby Lobby. We were a little naughty and spent more money than we should have, but I found these cute little washi tape. This reminds me of how I want to decorate my kitchen. And then this one's a cute one for fall. It has little mushrooms and leaves and stuff. So got those and then this is by this well, all this is actually from Paper Studio. But I found these cute quotes. These are faith quotes, family quotes, and friend quotes. And my best friend got the same ones. And then I saw this one, um, inspirational quotes. Let me get my little scissors out. Put these over here. I got a few other things. Like I got some unicorn um, stickers for Miss AJ and some dinosaur stickers for the man cub and then sunflowers which is how I normally decorate the entire month of August is all sunflowers because to me the end of summer with school starting and the beginning of fall is sunflowers so I'm saving the sunflower stickers. So see here's the dinosaurs for the little man cub, sunflower stickers for August, and unicorns for Miss AJ. She's all about unicorns now and they had this whole section of like unicorn books and unicorn pens and unicorn wallets, a unicorn, hairbrush, unicorn, um, little mini bag, unicorn, everything. And I was going to get her some stuff and then I went, oh yeah. She broke a window with her friends two weeks ago and she needs to pay for that first. So hold the roll, mama, and don't buy her that stuff. But I found this one too. And these are not shiny, these are matte. But to me, I love these. And I've been trying to find quotes to put on my weekly pages. And these just sing to me. I don't know, they just make me happy. And they're all different. Mango's upstairs. She's mad at me, by the way. Because I'm down here filming without her. But the windows... I still have screens in my windows, but the windows are open. And so she's talking to the dog outside. So yeah, these just... They sing to me, and I love them. I mean... They just make me happy. So I have these quotes to use on my weekly pages. I have friend quotes and family quotes and spiritual quotes or faith quotes. So I'm happy. I'm happy with some of the fun things I found. So I'm going to put these over here. Um, let me show you what's going on. This is upside down and I don't, it was right side up the other day. I don't know what I did, but whatever. Okay. Um, I made a, my own dashboard cover for my, um, insert here it was it was getting a little bulky I'm sorry I love bulky but at some point things start to get heavy and it's just it's getting a little heavy right now so I made uh, it's just it's lamination um, I had to make it a little longer so I taped stuff in the middle and then I it has here has a little divot down at the bottom and the top so it'll stay in its string we have the May future log, which is here. It's slowly filling up. Then we have the holidays. This Sunday's Mother's Day. Memorial Day is two weeks from Sunday. Give or take a little bit. Feeling blue and migraine tracker. Thursday was a rough day. Um, I had a little bit of a headache this weekend, but I didn't take anything. Then here's our steps. Now I got a new watch. This is just a pedometer and it doesn't even hook up to my phone. So I have to let's see if I can. Nope. Um, nope. Nope. Where's the that's the sleep. I can't remember. It it has a record of 
my steps and I have to where did it go I found it last night but yeah it's just a pedometer and it tracks my sleep and how many calories I've burned which I find kind of interesting because I've burned more calories than 97 calories today walking as much as I have but anyway this is new it doesn't hook up to my phone it doesn't do a heart rate or anything it just mostly does steps and um, steps workout and sleep so my Fitbit was getting a little too distracting and I was getting a little nervous about how much uh, how much of my physicality I was posting online because I do have some health problems and I um, it was making me a little nervous so I got a new watch this was only like 30 bucks on Amazon so that's where these steps are coming from then um, we have the weather tracker and the weather graph now we tanked a little bit in our temperatures and we're going back up we're supposed to get a couple days of rain so let me show you here is my May calendar and then my current week so on Wednesday we're gonna have some rain Thursday Friday a little bit of rain but it's not gonna be too bad so we'll see how it goes um, I put a quote here so I put a quote on this one and I just put happy May. So this was last week. It filled in as like I knew it would. Then here's May calendar and current week. And I put a quote here. I added craft night and my laundry tracker, which I'm going to start doing because I'm doing a lot of laundry, like a lot of laundry. And then this is the week that we're going to plan. Now I haven't drawn in anything. <laughs> I need to. So I'm going to do that on camera with you guys. And then I put here, I want to use a Mandy Lynn plans kit. So let's see, these are my monthly kits. Uh, Mandy Lynn plans kits. Okay. So I have this one, which is a gardening one. I don't want to use this one quite yet, even though I have been working in my garden. Then I have my str uh, strawberries one. This is a new one she came out with. And my strawberries just started blooming. I went outside this afternoon and looked and they have flowers. So coming, um, this one is lavender. This is one of the kits that she just retired. And I love lavender. It's one of my favorite flowers, hence my lavender pages. And then I have this one with the flowers and the hummingbirds. Almost wanna do Let's do the lavender one. Okay. But this is more of a bright pastel yellow. And my yellows, well, this one might work. Don't quite go. So let me find a different yellow Tombow. Okay, we're gonna go with this yellow. So the way I draw out my plan my um, I don't know what you want to call it my columns my base grid my however whatever it is so I count in sets of eight from the edge of this page to these numbers it's 32 boxes so I leave the numbers off so I do four columns of eight here three columns of eight here and that is what my weekly columns look like I use this light gray zig dot pen to draw them in but I use this end not the bullet end and then my coffee monsters co ruler so I am going to count these out I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and pull my hair up so it's out of my face but I am going to speed this up a little bit so that you can see what it looks like and we will go from there.
Okay, so there we have our base layout. Now if I pull up the last Mandyland Plans kit that I used, that would be over here somewhere, right here. So I put the, I used the dots. Maybe I'll go back over and do my, do the dots. We'll see. So I used the medium washi up at the top, the skinny washi um, in the middle, and the thick washi down at the bottom. And I put this down at the bottom, but I think next time, I'll, this coming time, I'll put it at the top. So let's do that first. Let's get my razor blade out. And that's right, I covered, covered the dots because I messed up the dates. But these dates are correct. Do I still want to cover them up? Mm, yep. All that work I just showed you that I do, I'm covering it up. We're going to use um, the little dots that came with the kit and put them up a little higher. So. Let's trim this so that it's fairly straight. I can never get it perfectly straight because I guess it's just not in my nature. I don't know. All right, here we go on this one. So we lined it up with the 130 mark, which is right about here. Okay, and we'll trim this. I just don't want to cut my page. All right, so then this little tiny purple washi, we are going to put at the seven. I'm gonna line the bottom up with seven o'clock because my life is starting to be earlier and earlier on my working days. Come on. Okay, there's that one. And then right here, line it up with seven o'clock. All right, ruler up, down. The nice thing about Mandy Lynn plans kits is the stickers are repositionable whereas with coffee monsters co they are not so they have a tendency it, it's one and done you get them on there in the right place if you don't too bad you're done you're done anyway okay here is the lavender I love lavender I love the way it smells I love the way it looks I like the way it tastes. Um, and then I also like its healing properties. Is that if that makes sense? So if you're super tired, you can have like a lavender milk drink, help you fall asleep. I drank a lot of that when I was pregnant with my son because he was all over. He was so busy when he was in my tummy. And then of course, about the same busy kid when he came out, but he would not let me sleep. He would sleep when I was awake and then want to play when I was asleep. It drove me nuts. So I would drink a lavender milk tea, like a golden milk, but with without um, turmeric, just with, like I would seep lavender leaves in this milk and add, I'd add honey and, oh, well, I can't remember what else I'd add. It's been a few years and it would help him sleep. It was fantastic. Okay, let's get this out. So we're gonna use the, it looks like there's three colors. So we're gonna go, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, tweezers. So 15, 
16. Mango is at the top of my stairs in my kitchen window singing. I have, oh my gosh, this was so crazy. So yesterday I was making my morning drink, which is a hot chocolate that has probiotics and vitamins and some wake up juice in it. And I'm sitting there with my frother making my chocolate and I hear these birds are just squealing and screaming and hitting um, my walls. And I go outside and I realize that some starlings have built a nest in the vent where my oven vent comes out of my house. I don't, I hope that makes sense. Um, it's kind of like a dryer vent that comes out of your house, but for mine, it's for my, my oven or the fan that goes over my oven. And they'd climbed up in there and had built a nest. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. But I could hear them fighting with something. And it's not like it's the easiest thing to get into. So I went, I took my broom and I went outside and I just whacked the metal part over the vent. And I hear this and a magpie fell out. Full magpie, magpie. The thing was massive. So it fell out. And I'm like, what the heck? And I, it startled me, so I whacked it with the broom handle like you hit a ball with a baseball bat, only I'm not very strong, so I didn't hit very hard. And it flew away, and then I kept hearing this fighting, and I look right outside my patio, and there's two birds fighting with each other on the ground. And the second I peek over the little wall, they took off. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I hope the little birds are okay. I really do. I hope they're fine and that um, they're not hurt or anything. So I went back inside and I finished making my chocolate and within about five minutes I started hearing peep, 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 peep. And I'm like, oh yay, the birds are fine. Phew, that makes me feel better. So, whew, happy, happy. Okay, I work on Wednesday at 7.30. It's gonna come down just a little bit so I don't cover the dot. And then I work at 7.30 on Thursday. And then I work at 7.30 on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we have steak conference and it is going to go until noon but i don't have any two hour boxes so we're going to use that then on tuesday my husband has his meetings that start at about six and then on Thursday he has his basketball games that start at 6.30 and then when I peeked at my calendar the man cub has a field trip on the 15th so I am not going to that because they don't need me we're just going to put a bigger box here so that I don't forget he has that. Then on Friday here, my daughter has a field trip out to Antelope Island, which is about two hours from my house. And my best friend Brittany and I are both gonna go to that. Then on Saturday, we have the adult meeting for steak conference at six. And then after the adult meeting, I need to remember to go pick up my children because I don't know if they're gonna sleep over at their grandparents on Friday night or if my husband's gonna take them Saturday morning. 
I need to figure that out. But because I work until 4.30 on Saturday and then I have this meeting right after, it's not a good thing for my children to be on their own that whole time. It really makes me nervous. It really does. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of boxes and dots left. Also on Friday, I am doing carpool before I leave for the field trips. So we'll put a little box right here. Okay, I want to use this, but I also want to draw my lines. So we're going to put school There, there we go. Birthday. Okay, so birthday, nothing, work, work, field trip, adult meeting, state conference. Ta da! All right, let's see if we can find a fun sticker. So this would fit right here. I don't see a small one that would fit down here. Oh, this one's funny. If at first you ex succeed, hide your astonishment. We're going to put it right here. I'm going to have to work on getting the bubbles out. Where is my, where did my ruler go? Okay, then let's see if we can find one to put on this side. Here we go. I want to put it, oh, it's a little wide but it fits kind of. Yep, put it right here. Okay, and get the ruler out. And it did kind of go over the edge, scissors and trim this up. There we go. Now I need my laundry tracker, but all my stickers are at the back of my book, which I have personal stuff. So we're going to pause for the moment. Okay, so I need a laundry tracker. This doesn't quite match. So let's see if I can make my own with kind of this as an example. So we're gonna take this, nope, we're gonna do the yellow again. So we're gonna put the yellow here and then we're gonna do one, whoops, five, four, 
three, two, one. And then we're gonna go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And where'd my other go? Then we're gonna put, because I never do, I haven't yet to do more than five loads of laundry in a day. And there we go. That is the plan with me for the next week with Mandy Lynn plan stuff. Kind of want to put something right here. Wonder if I have a flower. Oh my God, do I have? These are the purple flowers that I have. Let's see if there is, by some lucky chance, those are pansies, lavender in here. I haven't seen any as I've gone through them recently. See, we've got crocuses. Um, I don't know what those, those might be crocuses too. Pansies. Hmm. It's not looking very promising. There's thistles, which are close. I mean, they're no way near close to a lavender, but they will work with this particular Fine with me. We're gonna go with the thistles. I like thistles, by the way. Um, I have some kelp, I guess you could say, in my heritage. Um, both Scottish and Irish in my ancestry. So thistles and see, my Celtic knots talk to me. Not like talk to me, talk to me, but they make me make me smile and I appreciate them okay look at that where'd the scissors go so let's trim this off it stuck to my fingers okay I like that that looks good all right so this is the week of May 15th through the 21st. We have one more week of May after this one, which will be right here. And then we'll be on to June. So I need to start my June stuff, but I haven't, I haven't done anything yet. Nope. Haven't done anything yet, but there you go. Lavender. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to see more. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everybody. Take care of yourself. Take care of your kids. And happy towards the end of school year. We're getting our field trips in and we're going to be out of town after that. All right. Take care. Bye.